I don't wanna fall asleep cause I miss you, babe. Hi humans, Lurdrick is back. Anthony here, I'm just a Brazilian man's been trying to solve his like self-esteem problems. Hi. So as I said, <laughs> I'm having some some troubles in like my self-esteem and believing in myself and doing anything. And <laughs> and I don't know. Today I had like a conversation that it wasn't. A conversation because I wasn't talking much I was more like reading and absorbing it because I think it was important for me to read it and it was kind of a slap on my face but I agree with everything I don't know lately uh, I, I don't know you know when you go through some moments in your life when you have some fall downs and you kind of stop believing yourself I mean, you try new things, you try different things, or you keep trying doing something that you want in your life, but you're not getting the results you were expecting from it, so you kind of freak out and start like starting a lot of projects. Those moments, or at least in this case, in my case, when you just are not getting the results you were expecting out of something you're doing, or even like in my specific case because of anxiety I make a plan I make a plan to get something based on the things that I liked based on the things that I know I can do but because of the anxiety of getting the results of getting on that place that you wanted to be I started feeling so bad about myself because my brain kind of instead of like understanding that everything that was happening was part of the plan and if I wanted something faster than that or if I wanted to get the results or better results faster I would need to put more energy on that and that conversation kind of showed me there like I mean if you put more energy on your plane maybe your plan is going to work faster instead of like freaking out and don't doing some anything and <laughs> I know I'm crazy but my brain like sometimes when I'm anxious my brain just shut down and what I started doing I, I without re actually realizing okay I, I want uh, something I want to get in a place in my life and I have a plan for that that involves things that I, I love to do things that I like to do but because of the anxiety of getting on that place, I stopped putting my energy on those things just because my brain needed something, my brain needed to, to feel that I was achieving something right now that I, I couldn't wait or I couldn't like put my energy on, on things without actually seeing the results right now and even though the logic part of my brain knew that things take time and if you want to make that happen faster you put more energy on that and so what happened with me was that I started putting like a lot of energy on things that I didn't like I started like searching for ways to get on that place or ways to get I mean any achievement any progress I mean that I could see and it was faster it and it was kind of something that would give me a result fast because my, my every time I failed at something or every time something took more time than my inside wanted I I, I started feeling super bad about myself I, I stopped believing in myself and but not only in things I can do I started like feeling super ugly like I was the worst thing in the planet and yeah that conversation was the really a splat on my face <laughs> and because of the way I started feeling because of the anxiety and because of the way I started treating myself because I, I, I was working on a plan I was doing the things that I wanted to do but part of that plan was to take care of myself and I mean mind body and I don't know spirit if you believe in it but 
because I, because of the anxiety, I stopped doing the things to get on the place that I wanted to be, and I started like punishing myself for not getting something that I knew I, I wasn't going to get right now, and I stopped. I mean, looking and putting my energy and basically any energy on the thing that I I, I wanted. I started feeling my time and my energy on projects and shortcuts and a lot of things were like feeling my time or technically yet feeling my time that I, I, I stopped like knowing what I wanted and where I wanted to get it was like my brain just I mean my brain forgot I mean okay what I want why I started this journey that was supposed to be long so you knew from the beginning that to get on that place or to get out <laughs> on that other, other place that you want you knew it was going to be a long journey and I, I forgot why I started and I started questioning myself after like I slap on my face by <laughs> with a talk and I started kind of doing 25 things at the same time but at the same time not doing anything in a good way and because of the anxiety and self-doubting I stopped getting the, the those small achievements that I was getting to get no achievement at all I was working all the time in 25 different things and not getting anything out of that I wasn't getting pleasure because that wasn't what I wanted and I wasn't getting the the anxiety like fixed I wasn't getting to the place I wanted and I kind of stopped knowing what I wanted and I'm still trying to put myself together in like pieces and I, I, I don't know and I, I mean I call it an anxiety because it's anxiety but it's, I mean I'm super afraid I mean especially with things that I love when I'm working on something that I love or when I'm planning on getting something that I want or going to I mean, to get it on that place that I want, I kind of start freaking out and I get scared and super like anxious about failing. And I know that happens with some people that sometimes our brains just fear more the things that we wanted, the things that we know that will give pleasure to us than things that we don't actually want or things that we don't want I mean you know when you want something and you truly want something you start working for it and you fear of getting it or you fear of failing on getting it or you have this anxiety because you know that you were going to feel something magical when you get on that place and that's never usually true but but bad things or things that we don't want our brains kind of oh okay i know that i don't want that so i have no expectations about that so i don't care if i fail or not because that's not something that i really want but when it's about something that we really want our brains just get crazy and we start like f having this fear that becomes an anxiety that becomes on self-doubting that turns into we stopping working to get the things that we want and I don't know <laughs> I, I'm crazy I'm crazy I don't know I I, I, uh, I, I have this thing where I, I question myself a lot and Sometimes I stop like believing that I can get things because of my past experience. But again, coming back to the beginning of this video, 
I had this one conversation that it was more like a reading. And from now on, <laughs> I need to read it every time I, I start, like, st I mean, stopping doing what I love to work on 25 different things and not getting anyone, anything from that, not even, like, pleasure. And I shaved my, my hands, I mean, my legs, everything. I mean, my head is so big. I... I, okay, I'll stop it. I'll stop it. This was this video. <laughs> it was just me talking. I, I hope you have never been through the things that I, I talked about in this video. But I hope you could understand what I was talking about. Because sometimes I talk a lot. And yeah, I don't know. My hair is growing. I should be happier about it. And I should be, I mean, paying attention to things that actually makes me happy. Instead of like, getting crazy. Because I'm crazy. Because I'm crazy. <laughs> but I, I mean, remember that you are sexy and we should like make out. <laughs> ah! Love you. I don't know. I, I just, I, I'm feeling better. That's progress, I think. Let's not think about it because I don't want to get crazy. I'm tired. Love you. Let's make out. You naughty thing. <laughs>